least this music is nice and relaxing. I always appreciate that coming back from the quest. Got done with this one? Nice, Ashura. All right, I'm skipping it this time. I think, I mean, I can still serve to get better at being safer in this fight, but I do feel like I've gotten somewhat unlucky with some of the cards. A couple times it's just been like him riding the charge, freezing us, and then running into us again. Which is unfortunate. Miss the tremor. You checking it out, Zelda? That's cool. What are all the differences you found so far? Oh, you were watching a streamer play it. Oh, someone was streaming G Wii? That's rad. I'll raid who I want to then. Might be Rita, but it might be somebody else. We'll see. Someone's streaming GB right now. That's really cool. I'm happy somebody's doing that. Do they have the English patch for it or not? Good. I'm glad they did. playing on real hardware. That's nice. That's really cool. Hm. Is he playing on a Wii or a Wii U? See you, Ben. up at a certain point. I thought that was the case, but I hadn't seen it happen like quite that viscerally until just now. Yeah, I knew about the great sword charge. They did not balance it. Oh, so great! Is great sword just the strongest in GUI? That sounds pretty cool. Pretty bored. You were you were legitimately carrying the team, skipping. G1 
Jiwi is fun to say. I think so too. It's a Peewee, but Jiwi. We're Kiwi. Tail hitbox on that move is really bad. It's all stuff like that. It's all carts like that. Just get hit by something and then get followed up on. Because he's large. We'll still get it. Jerk, you can lose, you know that? <laughs> Takes longer to cook meat. Weird. Hearts. We killed Kush and Teo this evening, and now we're trying Ucanlos. Ucanlos has killed us quite a few times now. Not in like a, I can't handle his charge or I can't handle any of his moves, just in like a, oh, you screwed up and got bonked by one of the moves and then you ran you over right after. That kind of a thing. doing day marks. I got you guys. I mean Mad Catasaur, this is my most comfortable matchup on UK list. So you didn't do anything bad. Maybe dual blades, but like no this is what I'm comfortable with. You gave me like the pick that I have fought UK list with the most across the games. Yeah that's some lame shit. Stuff like that. Your day was awful, as as were the last couple weeks. I'm sorry, Marth. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, we've died like that like two or three times now. I hope your days improve soon. I do you think you did well enough on the Louisiana? That's good. 
I'm sorry, it's so brutal. Maybe he went for that tail sign. Oh, I misread that. That was okay. <laughs> that looked so silly. That's one of the goofier tail cuts I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I actually missed that roll. I was gonna roll right into the hitbox if I roll through the trainer. I think you can see the moon. It's pretty cool. The turn radius on this lad is insane when he wants to, like, seriously. Missed it. It's okay. Sometimes when he doesn't fully submerge himself before starting to dig, he his, his turning radius is like humongous. It's kind of crazy. like this i like him as a fight i'm a little bit peeved because i mean we we made it to like 30 35 minutes like twice now Marths, and just died to kind of inconsequential like it wasn't like i made a big mistake it was like lots of little mistakes that just added up over like hey you made a little mistake and it's you shot you oops so i'm like a little frustrated but i think it's a good fight it feels like it it does a good job of um it does a good job of being this kind of fight, which is like, the fight itself is not all that challenging. Like, it's not like moment to moment you're about to die. It's like, the, the fight is challenging because you have to really learn the fight and how to be safe. 
across multiple attempts. But Kush and Teo went off really nicely. We tried Kush the other night and it was rough, but we first tried it tonight with like Bowgun, and then we first tried um, Teo's throw with Hammer as well. See ya, Arizo. Cheers. Yeah, Teo, we got given Hammer again. Um, we got one or two KOs. We broke his horns and we killed him. Both of them were quite like edge of your seat, like last minute clears. Kind of like the Camellios clear in Hub with um, Switch Axe. Almost didn't quite time out. It wasn't quite like last minute or two, but it was like within the last five minutes. So both of those hunts went really well. This is not as challenging as Freebie Knight's g ranking candles. Freebie Knight's g ranking camos felt like you were often going to die any second with some of the moves it was pulling off. Its charge was a lot harder to avoid. It didn't do the double charge. And didn't spout off the little freezy chunks while it was charging, so that's kind of challenging. But it also can give you Four sets of hot drinks, four fire casters, and a bunch of potions back at the ba back at the base. So that was part of the challenge, was just lasting long enough under one set of healing. Hey, okay, Aristex. Ooh, that feels good. Do you bounce on arms? Nope. With blue we do, but we have purple and white, so we're fine. Woo! Hello. It's weird how those aim differently depending on where you're standing. I might take you to the, one of those far casters here. Yeah, I think so. So let's try attack on the arms. Already broken both of them, Aristex. We don't bounce off them, I promise. We've already broken both of them. You can check in the quest info. We know you can list his front leg. They're not great hit zones, but we broke them. I mean, for leg trip? Front leg, I mean, we already got both of the front arm trips, so we, they won't trip again. Eh, they might. Back leg trip is better. Because back legs are a better hit zone. No, at this point, we've broken everything except for his head break twice, so we need to do the head break again. I think his chest is already broken, Mars. I think the only thing I have left to break is his head. Nope, never mind. Chest is not broken yet. Oh, it was. Maybe the attempts are starting to blur together. That was risky. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I think you probably need endgame gear for that Aristex. I, I don't have the, the stats on my weapons or my set to be tripping him that often. We're wearing three pieces of high rank armor. Yeah, just unlock and beat. <laughs> Marks, we had a lot of folks come in who were new to the stream earlier, and after the first attempt, we we failed, and the first time went, Sword and Shield is bad. I was like, oh, 
That's another. That's like another streamer. I feel like that's another streamer accomplishment. In there with getting like ASC two dongs in your chat, and getting to meet somebody who, like you, you respect as like a as a monster hunter, content creator, streamer, or something. Up there with those is the this weapon is just like no other context. Just this weapon's bad. I feel like that's up there. No, Teo wasn't much. People were pretty understanding about it. Did you see that YouTube video on the culture of Monster Hunter? No. I don't really watch that much Monster Hunter YouTube. Unlucky. We're good, though. Oof, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it didn't hit. Cool. What was the what was the video about Don Crotchel? Like, what was it like? Were there talking points? Can you share it? Sure. Yeah, I've watched that. It's an excellent video. Yep, I have seen it, actually. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks since I've watched it, so I don't really remember exactly it, but I have seen that one. That tiny little ledge drop scared me. It does do a really succinct job of expressing what, what what is so special about the setting and the world of Monster Hunter, along with what's so special about the games, and kind of tying that together, like how the games feel to play and how this world feels to exist in, and how the movie kind of failed it really uh, capturing it. That and yeah, the heart of the community too. It's just really, it's a really good video. I remember really enjoying it too, Doc Rachel. Right, I think that was a chest break. Yeah. That was what I wanted to do. Please no. Thank you. The fact that they give you four of those far casters is just insane.
Yep. I like that too, Don Crotchel. Talking about a video talking about the Monster Hunter movie spasm. But yeah. Vaguely talking about the movie too. Marks, I think that you just wanted to make a movie with his wife in it as an action hero. <laughs> More than he wants to do anything else. It seems to be the consistent through line between his movies. I mean, he's married to the lead of every one of his movies. It's not like it's inconsistent. The director is married to the female lead of that movie, Mila Jojovic, who is also the female lead of all the Resident Evil movies. Are his other movies okay? There's a similar level of like the movie, action movie kind of thing. And the production company has some pretty shady stuff going on where like employees getting injured there aren't covered by the production company in a pretty bad way. Like unsafe situations leads to people getting injured and not covered properly. It's bad. There's really pretty poor stuff. Like dismemberments and deaths. Like that should not be something you should be associated with your company. There, there's the final face break. Alright, we've broken everything except for the back. Yeah, that's the part, like, like, I think their movies are just kind of eh, but also, like, the most important part is that, like, people are getting hurt working for that company, and, like, they're not really... It's like, it's been a, a pattern. Yeah, I would also say, even if you did, don't talk about that here. Not much All In the back when he falls over, she'll still count towards the break. I don't really want people talking about it loud or soft, Marths. I don't really want people talking about piracy in chat. Didn't stay down very long there. For what it's worth, they do a good job of making the climbing feel nice in this game, where you can jump onto a wall real fast and climb on up out of something. Why is this boy tripping so much? Because we're dealing decent damage to him, and we have a lot of fire element. Oh, Jesus. monster do I like? I like them all, really. I think they all have their own unique strengths and weaknesses, honestly. This one's really good. This is my first time playing through this one all the way. I don't know, Marth, probably. Not looking to do him quite yet. I 
you would like him? Hmm. What's after you, Canlos? I don't know. I truly don't know what comes after you, Canlos. We still have other G3 quests we have to do. Some multi-monster quests. I don't really want to know the progression of things. I prefer people to tell me. Which game, Huck? Are you playing Portable 3rd? Zenogre in Portable 3rd is pretty crazy. For you? Hmm. Yeah. This low rank's the only rank where he has some of his movesets that I think are kind of more challenging than some of the higher rank ones. Like, some bits of that low rank moveset are more challenging, I think. So I don't blame you. So Gog will be the last quest for this game. Um, I mean, like, I'll keep work. I'll keep working on stuff until Rise comes out. If we haven't gotten to Gog by the time Rise comes out, then I'll probably keep going. I'll do some multitasking between the two games. I think they'll. I don't think they start cycling until you clear them, Skippy. No, I think there are some aspects of low ranks and over that are harder than G ranks and over. The consistent triple slam. I think the consistent triple slam is more difficult than the vari variable speed slam. I think the variable speed slam is easier to deal with and easier to dodge. Like, I think it's nice that they... God darn it. Oh my god. I think it's nice that they played around with it. But... And, like, I think the mix-up is there. We're like... I think the mix-up is there. Where you can get conditioned to only expect two and then do a heal or do an attack and get slammed by the third, but I think the constant aggression of three slams is harder to deal with consistently. For real, Slayra. <laughs> Dread Plank, thanks for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the Monster Hunter so far. It was, it was, oh my god. It was, um, it was Defender. I don't have Divine Blessing. Interesting, Skiffy. Marth's is joking around. Those aren't all monsters that are in this game. I feel like this thing spams dig the lower its health is. That's how it feels at least. If it's a good quote, Skiffy, maybe.
Oh, Elemis, I see him, Skiffy. I was going to get hit by a lingering hitbox there. <sighs> Didn't realize he was doing that, and now we're going down. No, we're not. We're not going down. You spoil something about for you? Is Fatalis harder than this? Um, depends on the Fatalis. Yeah, I would say generally Fatalis is harder than this. I think Fatalis is harder than either you can lose or you can't sort. This is the beam again. It's up to you, Marts. I, I saw you were hinting about that earlier. That took way too long tonight. <laughs> I'm glad we finished it, though. I think it's not really a bad thing that it took us this long. I was feeling frustrated because some of the deaths felt like they were... They were all my fault, but they were just quick two shots where it was hard to really save yourself anyway. And all, it was a little bit rougher as well because we had just done the, the Kushala and Teo first try. No, it was the monster marks. The map was not that much of a problem. There was like a line in the middle of the map that was tough. But the monster was tougher. And a lot of it was also just that you didn't have any supplies and you couldn't endlessly far cast back the camp. 